social media definitely does this. They groom you into perfection. Find out what that first step is and put it on your calendar and do it. And just do it. That's it. Because life is so short, we gotta live it to the fullest, baby. Let's get it. This reminds me of my organic chemistry labs. I look like a like a fresh farm girl on the prairie today. I don't know what I'm doing with my hair. I'm going to Reiki at noon and she told me to wear cotton. So this is my cotton shirt and my cotton pants. I didn't realize that jeans were 100% cotton. I probably should have known that. Anyways, I bought all of these assortment of things from the store and I'm attempting to make gluten-free stuff. I made my gluten-free pizza last night it turned out actually pretty decent. I think the crust is great. Just not a huge fan of the toppings. Cause I did pesto, goat cheese, mozzarella, and chicken liver. So kind of weird. I've been trying to eat more organ meat because it's really good for you. And now I'm making gluten-free yeast dinner rolls. So we're gonna see how that goes. The next ingredients are some sugar and salt, but I think for the sugar I'm gonna use maple syrup. So I'm gonna wait till I add the liquids to that. And how much salt? A teaspoon. Great. And I've got my yeast activating right here. And this is what I've been into lately. Does this mean the yeast is bloomed, I think? Bloomed yeast? Okay. <laughs> I don't have a mixing bowl, so we're doing this baby by hand. I had to add a little bit more hot water to the yeast because I, I didn't think it was warm enough for it to activate. But now I, I think there's too much water in this dough. Switch hands, get the ambidextrous left hand in here. Okay, wish us luck. I have still been absolutely obsessed with making these hazelnut milk turmeric lattes. It's just ginger, turmeric, and some cinnamon, vanilla, maple syrup, and I think that's it. Maybe some little bit of cracked black pepper, but oh my gosh, obsessed. Hello. I put my hair up. I've got a ton of, um, oil and aquaphor <laughs> my hair right now because at night I've been doing my retinol lotion and then also adding aquaphor on top. I think it's called slugging. I heard about it online and I've been doing it and I really love how my skin is feeling and yeah, I, it's like the first time that I've actually been happy with making it through. I'm currently on my period, but the week before my period, I only had like two or three breakouts and no cystic acne, which I usually get around this time of the month. So combining the probiotics with the supplements to support my kidney and liver function, quitting alcohol, uh, quitting caffeine, um, have all greatly contributed to my health. And our skin is a representation of like what's going on inside. I kind of think of it as like an error report that a computer has and it tells us Depending on the area of your face, it'll tell you where the issue is. So in here, where I get my acne, like these are scars and then I have a couple here, are all from digestion and hormonal issues, which are linked. So it's been interesting discovering the food stuff. And I had the help of an acupuncture, uh, hormonal, naturopath woman that gave me a lot of supplements that I was on for three months. And I've stopped taking those since. I think it was really meant to just cleanse and clear my kidneys and my liver and now I feel great so it's been really hard the last couple of years I've had wild hormonal fluctuations uh, gastrointestinal issues I've become much more sensitive to food and because of that I was very very lethargic fatigued I didn't feel like leaving my bed for most of the time in the last two years, which is kind of funny because if you look at my Instagram 
and like my life <laughs> and my stories. It looks like I'm up and doing things and I was up and doing quite a bit. It was just from a place of exhaustion and like a fear of missing out, not from like a genuine elation to do things. I was definitely a little bit depressive. And then I noticed that my like bipolar was just like even more accentuated. So I'd get really, really manic and then I'd get really, really depressed and that swing was just not sustainable for me. So I sought out help. Uh, I talked to doctors, I talked to acupuncturists and I don't have a very good history with doctors. I've had a lot of things that have gone on with my body, especially related to our sexual organs where they've misdiagnosed and it's resulted in a lot of like pain frustration, anger, etc. I do trust modern medicine, definitely, but I think it's always important to be connected to your heart and listening to your own divine body intelligence and then also seeking out lots of other types of doctors like functional medicine, acupuncture, naturopaths, like there's so many different degrees of this and I really wish and I think we will see this in our lifetime where they all start communicating with each other. So I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, it's just been quite a journey for me and you probably saw in a couple of videos ago, I was just so elated and excited. For the first time in the last two years, I actually have energy and I'm actually excited about life and living and things and doing stuff and working on projects and just participating. I was just feeling so isolated and alone with my feelings and I just saw the world moving on without me and I just literally could not work on a single thing. So that's probably why you saw me not uploading, not posting, not live streaming. Like I was like severely, severely depressed and then I would stream, you know, three days in a row and that was when I felt manic enough to stream, which was just not healthy. And then I would ignore streaming for another three weeks. So I was struggling mentally and physically and now for the first time the last you know two months and especially after quitting alcohol a year ago which I'm really excited to make a video on it for you guys. I just feel great. I feel great in my body. I feel healthy. I am not having any pain in my digestion anymore. My period cramps are better. I don't feel as fatigued. I don't want to just lay around in bed all the time. My skin's improving. My outlook on life is improving and I really got to see in the last couple of years like how interrelated my manic depressive fluctuations were related to what I was eating. My caffeine intake and my gluten intake were really affecting that and my protein intake. So now by being really adamant about what I put in my body it's made a huge difference so. Yeah I just wanted to share that because I, I think that social media definitely does this. I don't even use social media anymore. They groom you into perfection. And it's not, I mean, it's the developers aren't wanting to do this, but it's just the way that the algorithm works and the way that we work as humans and the types of things we like and interact with um, are typically the perfect photos. It's the photos of traveling. It's the photos of being on the yacht and the beach and in the bikini. And I am just so, I'm so guilty. I don't feel guilt about this, but I'm guilty of falling into the Instagram social media trap and not sharing my vulnerability. And that also got extrapolated across my other social platforms like YouTube, Twitter, like Facebook, like Twitch. Like I would only share the side of myself that was my expression of perfection, which still isn't perfect. The perfect expression is all expressions. So coming to that understanding and that next degree of self-love and acceptance to the point where I feel comfortable sharing that. And I was also talking to Luke where it's like, I was thinking that, oh, if I don't post on Instagram because I've had it deleted for the last few days. I like deleting Instagram when I'm on my period <laughs> or all social media for that matter. And honest to God, I don't even think I can use it anymore. When I'm on it, I just feel so terrible. And even though I've reached a place in my mind where I have a general awareness to not compare, to celebrate people's achievements, like it just puts me in a state that's so out of my own cultivation of energy. Whereas like right now I feel so uh, at peace and I feel really satisfied for trying to make these gluten-free dinner rolls. And I feel excited about life and interested in the world and eager to take Yuri for a walk. And I just feel great. But I know that if I go on the social platforms, like that shifts and that changes, even if I'm able to bring really deep awareness to it. 
And so I get caught in this, like, why would I want to post and create on social media that would encourage others to use the platform more? Like, I think it's nice to be the sunshine in the gray, you're in the clouds, and be bringing, like, really loving, high vibration content to the platform. I've got myself in a bit of bondage because I don't want to participate and create for a platform that's not contributing to people living and engaging in life. Although the flip of that is I watch a lot of YouTube videos that are really high vibe that encourage me to participate and live in life. So I just want to make sure that all the content that I'm creating is what I call a light mirror, where you look in the mirror and you see the light in yourself and in the world, and that inspires you to get out and live life to the fullest. And so that's my focus with my content right now, and I'm just looking forward to continue that. So yeah, otherwise I don't feel like posting, and I feel like hiding from social media, and then I'm like, how do I make a successful living without participating in social media? And I feel like I'm just, all my skills are in social media when it comes to marketing, filming, building communities, understanding different meta of the internet and technology. And yeah, I'm kind of eager for the world to show me other avenues because I want to be consciously creating content that is yeah contributing to your best life possible. I also get caught like I have a lot of product ideas too and I, and I just <laughs> I just don't want to sell to people things that they don't need like we don't really need things so I think I got to get over that hump too where it's like I can create things that bring inspiration and beauty and love to people's lives I can flip houses and make them beautiful for new families and people to move into them and just enjoy them and cherish them. Yeah, and I can invest in companies that are doing the same. So I wanna be really clear on the way that I'm using my intention and my action and my vote, which is my money. I'm exploring that right now. And I've been really sinking into my own moon cycle. If you're a guy watching this, this is important because you can better understand the women in your life. And if you're a girl watching this, this is like what absolutely changed my life was tracking my cycle. I use the iPhone health app and you can track your cycle and it'll tell you when you're ovulating. And tracking my cycle and adjusting my life in order to be more slow and not make decisions right before my period or when I'm on my period and then get involved in more projects and meetings after my period and when I'm more brainstorming and filming and working on things because we're still living in a system where it's just go, 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 produce, 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 increase that GDP constantly. And I, I think that that worked for, you know, the North America up until now to a degree, although we're experiencing some of the pain from that now. I just think it's important to find your own flow and your own work pace. And if that's working four hours a day, three days a week, like acknowledge that and find out what exactly that is. Is it taking a week off? And just really tuning in to what your body and spirit need and then adjust your life accordingly like will you need to educate yourself more in order to earn more during those hours is it responsible for you to start a new company or create a product and how are you going to kind of be the architect of your life and plan for those flows of life and family and just get really clear on that because I feel like we have such a genius inside of us that when we really know what we want and how we want to live and the things that we need to do, like things come into our awareness that lead us to a life that we can cultivate with that. And yeah, it's really beautiful. And I know that's not available for everybody right now. And I really am excited and interested in being a proponent for creating more opportunities for people to work in their genius and in their flow and set their schedules and be handsomely rewarded for their participation. So that's my interest. I look quite like studious and professional. Thank you for listening to my little chat. That's just the things that have been percolating in my mind. Cheers.
checked on my loaves. They've risen. I realized I put twice, I halved everything, but I did twice as much <laughs> yeast. So they're pretty yeasty, but they rose. And now I'm gonna cook them. And we're gonna see what happens. See if Kristen can make some dinner rolls. They're supposed to look like this. This is done with a pre-made flour. I just mixed a bunch of the flours I had. Good morning, good morning, good morning! I hope you guys are having an amazing day today. I am headed out to my first scuba instruction. I'm so excited. I've been having these things on my list, like learning to sail, getting my motorcycle license, going scuba diving for so long, and I'm finally going and getting my course done at Diving Dynamics in Kelowna, just in time to go to the Red Sea where I really wanna go dive in the open water. And I might even be able to do an open water dive here in the Kelowna in the cold, which would be really cool, but we'll see. And yeah, it's a private class today because they miscommunicated with me and I missed class last night. So I have two three hour scuba diving classes today that I'm going to. And I'm kind of excited to have the first one private. Um, I think just getting like the super basics one-on-one -on -one is really helpful and any questions I have. And then, yeah, scuba diving tonight. I'm gonna include you guys in some of it. I don't currently have an underwater camera. I'm not sure where my GoPro went. I think it's in storage in LA. Otherwise, I would take you. So yeah, I'll do as much filming as I can. If this is interesting to you, stay along. But the moral of the story is all those things on your list that you're like, when I'm inspired, I'll do. You're not gonna get inspired. I learned that in the last few years and it's just better for me to figure out what the first step is on everything. Oh, look, puppy and kitty are sniffing. Look, Peter's gotten so much more confident lately. <laughs> this is so awesome. Yeah, just make a, find out what that first step is and put it on your calendar and do it. And just do it. That's it, because life is so short. We gotta live it to the fullest, baby. Let's get it. enjoyed the video if you did make sure to spank that like button and subscribe it helps out the channel greatly and i'll see you guys in another video bye